guys, thanks for hopping on the channel today, checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to share with you a little bit about a small town on the outskirts of Tuscaloosa. My channel is called Living in Tuscaloosa County, and it's all things related to living here, working here, going to school here. Uh, so feel free to check out all the videos on my channel. But today, we're actually going to go outside of Tuscaloosa County. We're going to go a little bit west to Pickens County. And I'm going to tell you about a small town called Gordo, Alabama. And these are the top five reasons to live in Gordo, Alabama. Hey, if you're watching this channel, you're probably thinking about moving to the Tuscaloosa area. And I've lived here virtually my entire life. I love making these videos, making this content and helping you know what it's like to actually live here. You can learn a lot by watching the videos on this channel, but you know, it may be easier for you to just reach out to me directly. My contact information is all over this channel. You can send me an email, you can call me, you can book a video chat, and we can talk about exactly what you're looking for, and I will love to be your tour guide to help you get what you want. And hey, while I'm at it, if you are getting value from these videos, and from this channel, please go ahead, hit that like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell so that you get notified every time new content is pushed out on the channel. They tell me that helps. It helps other people uh, see that these videos are providing value. So if you're getting value, please do that for me. Like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell. Reason number one. Uh, for top five reasons to live in Gordo, Alabama is it's close proximity to town. Now, I didn't say pro, uh, close proximity to Tuscaloosa because it might not be Tuscaloosa, okay? Uh, there is also another town just across the state line. If you keep going further west outside of Tuscaloosa, about a maybe 50 minute, maybe a one hour drive, to a little town called Columbus, Mississippi. There is a Air Force base there. There are some jobs there. I, I have a friend who's worked in Columbus for a long time. And him and his work buddies, they meet up in Northport. They hop in the car together and they ride back and forth to work. There's a big steel mill over there. Um, so a great thing about living in Gordo is you know, your close drive, if you're commuting to Tuscaloosa, commuting to Northport, or if you're commuting over to Columbus, Mississippi, it's uh, from Northport, uh, I timed it the other day, it was about 24 miles, and it's a four lane highway, there's no exits, there's no merging delays, there's no stoplights until you get into Northport. So as far as a commute goes, it's an easy drive, and we're starting to see more and more people as prices of houses keeps going up we're starting to see more people from the tuscaloosa area go out to gordo and just simply make that drive reason number two is restaurants shops and grocery stores so if you're watching this channel and you're a local you might be thinking phil there's not much out there in gordo and you would be right okay so compared to tuscaloosa compared to northport you're correct there's not as many stores there's not as many restaurants out there but compared to some of the other places where people might commute from so let's say let's say you circled some cities on a map some areas on a map where you wanted to be within a 30 minute drive of tuscaloosa compared to some of those places that you would pick gordo at least has a little bit okay they do have a grocery store okay there's a piggly wiggly out there Across the street from the Piggly Wiggly is a Dollar General. And then beside the Dollar General, there's a Family Dollar, which also has a Dollar Tree inside it. So if you're out there, it's late, you had a hard day at work, you don't wanna stop somewhere in the city to get groceries, or maybe you get home and you realize something that you, you needed to have to cook dinner tonight, you didn't have it and you needed to run to the store. If you live in Gordo, there's at least a couple places that you can go to where you can pick up uh, say you forgot your spaghetti noodles you forgot your spaghetti sauce there's a couple stores you can go to there's a couple restaurants there again not many but you know if it's a you know been a long day you don't feel like cooking and you want to pick something up relatively close to the house you could 
live in Gordo, you could stop and pick something up at one of the couple restaurants that's out that way. You could take food home, or if you're on the weekend and you just don't feel like cooking, you feel like getting up on a Saturday morning, going and getting breakfast, there's places you can do that out in the Gordo area as well. So still, not as much compared to Tuscaloosa and Northport, uh, not by a long shot, but compared to some of the cities where you would commute from, uh, Gordo at least has a few restaurants, a few shops, and a few stores. Reason number three, property values are lower in Gordo. You can get more house for the money if you're willing to make a little bit of a drive, okay? And that's another reason why we're starting to see more and more people, you know, decide to go further out from the city. Um, you know, they're, they're wanting to get more house for the money. They've seen the house that they can get for their budget in Tuscaloosa, and they've compared that to what they could get in Gordo, what they could get in Fayette, what they could get in Moundville, what they could get in Vance or Brookwood, and people are just simply saying, you know what, I'd rather have the nice house that I want and uh, and that I love, even if that means driving a little bit, you know? Um, so I think because of that, we've seen more and more people go further out. Uh, you know, maybe it, it previously, uh, you know, 15 or 20 minute commute was was about you know as much as people wanted to tolerate but with inflation going up with property values continuing to go up i think we're going to see more and more people decide to go to some of these you know little towns on the outskirts and i think that's another reason why people are deciding to move to gordo reason number four is that gordo has its own schools so uh, Gordo Elementary School, Gordo High School are right beside each other, okay? They are really proud of their school. I'll get to that in number five in just a second. Um, but they've got their own little school system. And uh, similar to, you know, like the north side area in Tuscaloosa County, your kids can grow up in Gordo and go to school with the same kids from elementary school through high school. So it kind of builds that, you know, those friendships. You, your friends start in kindergarten and, and they go from kindergarten through 12th grade with the same group of students. Uh, so they get to know each other better. It's not so big. I graduated from Tuscaloosa County High School and when I went to graduation there were kids there that I'd never even seen before. It was a really big school. Um, so having that, that you know, a good school, uh, that small town pride and not having you know, when I went to middle school, it was overwhelming. You know, I went from being in uh, a sixth grade, uh, you know, where we had maybe four sixth grade classes at my elementary school, to now all of a sudden we've got multiple elementary schools all feeding into the same middle school. Uh, and listen, I liked it. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I don't think there's a, you know, a right or a wrong, but I think one thing that people in Gordo like is the fact that their kids can grow up uh, in the same school system with the same group of kids from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. And they usually are pretty competitive in sports out in Gordo. So the Gordo Green Wave, they are very proud of their football, their baseball, basketball. They're normally pretty competitive in all those sports as well. And so I think that's another reason why making the drive to Gordo might make sense is because not only are you getting more house for the money, uh, you know, but you're also getting you know, a good school system when you're out there. Reason number five, small town pride. You know, you go to some of these small towns and you know, they don't have as much grass to keep up. They don't have as many roads to, to pull trash off of. And so one of the things I've always noticed when I've been in Gordo, driving through there, showing houses out there, going to events out there, going and meeting friends out there, is that Gordo has that small town pride. Uh, now it is a small town, okay, so you're not going to get some of the things that you're going to have in a big town. Uh, but they're proud of what they have, they tend to support each other out there when it comes to local businesses. Uh, you know, the, the streets are well kept, the, uh, the, the schools and the government areas are normally well taken care of when it comes to landscaping and uh, trash not being out there. 
and people in Gordo are, are generally proud to be from Gordo. Uh, you know, you'll see them out in town with their, uh, with a Gordo shirt on or a Gordo hat on or a, a bumper sticker on their car. Um, so it is a small town and it's not for everybody, but I think the folks that are out there that call it home, uh, they like the fact that it's a small town. They don't want to be in a big town. So people from Gordo and the Gordo area has that small town pride that I think a lot of people are looking for in this day and time. And hey, if you're thinking about moving to the Tuscaloosa area, I would love to connect with you. I have people from this YouTube channel reaching out to me every day who are looking at taking jobs here, who are looking at moving here, who are considering relocating here and, and they watch these videos. Hopefully you've gotten some value from these videos. Um, but you know, to go even deeper, I would love to connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, my contact info is all over this channel. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me. You can even book a video chat with me, which is what most people do to kind of have that initial conversation. So whether you're looking to move here, relocate here, buy a student house for your student, or if you're looking to invest here, I'm an investor myself and I can give you some investing guidance as well. So if that's you, feel free to reach out. And once again, please hit the like button for this video, hit the subscribe button for my channel and hit that bell so that you get notified every time a new video is created.